Yeah, I'm not So this is where we are with the old studio that we're turning into our bedroom. Right now I'm working on the windowsill. That drywall on the windowsill was a little, it was kind of rotted out somewhat. I replaced that drywall. And then next, I'm gonna spackle all the blemishes on the walls, take down the ceiling, so on and so forth. This is what I'll be working on every day until we move our bedroom in this room. This is our bedroom currently. It is basically jam-packed wall to wall. This is gonna be the new nursery. Um, well, the new nursery. It's gonna be the nursery. That closet right now is unusable because this is a shower here and it used to leak into there. So Brad's gonna fix that. He's gonna knock out that wall and then we'll have like a, a bar that we can hang the baby stuff. It's just so much stuff. We decided this is not gonna be the room that we sleep in because it's actually about four feet less um, in width. Like Brad sleeps all the way against this wall. The AC blows directly on us. It's just very uncomfortable. And as you see, this is all the walking space. That's the bathroom. So we're gonna move uh, all this stuff to the other end of the house and then we're gonna make this the nursery. It was the end of the day. I finished spackling the whole room, which was crazy. Cause I didn't spackle the cracks in the ceiling. We spanned the whole length of the room. There's another one over here. Spans the whole length. There was cracks on this part of the wall, top to bottom, a big crack. There was one over here, top to bottom. I mean, there were many nail holes and nail holes in the ceiling from trying to put soundproofing. Missed one. There's so many. But I just spackling everything. I tried to do these blemishes, but as I was trying to spackle these, it was ripping more paint off. So when I started here trying to do the blemishes, it was a pain in the butt. I was just creating more damage. But almost ready to paint, I'm gonna put some plastic down. Oh, the echo is in Titanium. I remember dealing with that echo when we set the studio up in here. Awful. But I'm gonna put some plastic down, sand the spackle, and that's it for tonight. And tomorrow I can just paint. Officially sold the city. I literally just woke up. Just sold the Civic for 745 buckaroos. Wait. All right, I'm done with the walls and spackle and painting. It took quite a few days and quite a few coats of paint. But now I'm gonna get all the blue confetti <laughs> off the rug. And then I'm gonna try and steam it with this little steamer thing to get this big streak out. I guess this is like the couch was here and this is where we will walk to get on the couch. So it's super dirty right there. Oh no, no it's probably here. Boom, couch, confetti, computers. It was like that. All right, the steamer's ready. I've never used this thing, so Lex pretty much has to tell me what to do. I will use that double steam. Like, that's thicker. This one? Yeah, yeah. All right, now just rub it back and forth? Yeah, but you have to go through. Okay. Is there a strategy? Sweat. Should I start, like, in the middle, or should I work my way side to side? You know what I mean? I don't know how they do it. Well, I'm starting in the middle. Just kind of see how it does. Here, you should actually pick it up and, like... I mean, it's warm, but it's not super hot. You should pick it up and, like, let it steam out a little bit. Oh, I see steam. See once, it? well, yeah. Once you see a lot, then a short. There it goes. It's coming. There it goes. It seems like it needs more water, but I mean, it's going. Oh, it's full. Yeah, it's. it's I smell it. Smell what? The steam. Steam cleaning has such a specific smell. Man, I hope no birds poop on here. Oh man, that's sad. We got suck. the tree right here. All right, this rug's not coming that clean. It looks a little better. Looks like it's getting some dirt. Uh, I'm about to call it a day, pack it up. I think we need like to get a to rent a carpet cleaner or something. I just spray shout on it, minimal results. There we go. One step closer. this way and go in the gap. Okay. 
sure if I do. Just pollute it back here. I should just plug that one. Oh my goodness. This smell? It smells like sewage. Uh, uh, we went to, I was working on thank yous actually for our baby shower. And um, these are gonna go out to everybody that sent stuff. Also, we had a doctor's appointment today. It was our like 34 and a half weeks and the midwife said everything is perfect. His heartbeat was perfect. And he's a happy little baby. He was moving around. So um, that's our last appointment before we start getting into the like, you could have a mini day appointments. And so the next one's gonna be a little more intensive. At least I have to take like a test or something. But we're getting so close. Is it heavy? No, it's just awkward because I mean, you see how much space I have? I can only lift it like an inch. Yeah. Well, I yeah. can't just like, oh, lift it and walk it. So it's like certain muscles you have to use. <laughs> the last big thing to move. Well, once we bring the other stuff in, I was really thinking we would split it. No, it's okay. <sighs> Dang, look at all the space. Look at this. See, we have our bed in the opposite direction, and there we had it going this way. Yeah. So we picked it was going this way, how much space would be there? Oh, yeah, not much. Oh, no, it's Wait, what? I'm saying if the bed went this way, yeah. we'd have more space there. But this but is then good. I would have to be in that room with the, this all the way to the wall. We don't have this much space. This is a lot of space for us. Cause you don't want you didn't want me to be by the door, and if we turn it this way, that's the. No, other this side. is good. I'm just saying, like, if you think about the space comparison. Oh yeah. We definitely gained. We gained four feet. feet. <laughs> His big floor was literally like there's no wall. All this work to gain feet. four feet. Four yeah. feet's a lot though. Four feet's a lot, I'll take That's it. That's a lot. If you could add four feet to your bedroom, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? If you could add four feet to your height, you know what Ooh. I'm saying? <laughs> it's a lot. This is the new nursery. Did it detach? Yeah, there you go. Whoa, it's a big red plate. Is that right? I think it's right. So basically, it's gonna roll along this wall. Well, this wall. All right, it's gonna okay. light her up though. There's yeah. some space over there. Sweet, let's do the curtains then. Cause I mean, that's like mandatory. The baskets and guitar, that's optional. Okay. It's a night and curtains need to be up. Okay, this is the new bedroom. This is the old studio. Remember there was a hole in the ceiling that was like super ugly. He patched all that. He patched all the seams. We got a smoke detector, yeah and a new light fixture. Remember it had the foil on it. And then I got a little fake plant here. Um, art and this chair, this came from our registry. We got a new AC, but uh, we're trying to figure out what to do with it. We were hoping to not do window unit back here because window units just have a way of bringing the outside inside and I don't really know how to make beds, so don't judge my uh, ugly bed work. But yeah, then we're still figuring out pillows and stuff. But I got this like tapestry off Amazon. This thing was like 10 or 20 bucks or something. We need to put a door on. Still don't have a door. But a little laundry basket, um, air purifier, dehumidifier. And these curtains I put, so basically in the, in the morning we get like an orange glow in here. <laughs> They're kind of ugly and they came with this place. But I thought it would bring the warmth. We kept the carpet from, that we had from the studio. We couldn't really get it um, steamed. So we just kept it dirty, but better than nothing. Cause this is the first time we've had like a rug that's comfy in a room that's not the studio. We used to use it for soundproofing, but not anymore. And what else we got? Got a fridge. This is Jack's fridge for all his milkies and his um, bassinet all set up and a bunch of stuff over here that still needs to be set up for his like bottling and bottle warmers. And all this stuff came from you guys from the wish list, this sound machine. Um, <laughs> got my little puke can next to the bed because 
the contractions have gotten stronger. Um, but yeah, yeah, guys, we have a legit bedroom now. I can't believe it. He did such a good job. This chair is so comfy, by the way, and it's like a nice skinny chair. So it fits perfectly in that spot. But yeah, oh, so comfy. I love this room. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. Who to go? She told me, boy, you to go. Like, I don't know. But I don't know.